Are you there? March. Snow's going away. It's supposed to be like 50 day, 50 degree day here this weekend. So uh, I'm gonna try to get some stuff done outside. Um, but first things first, I have to get this trailer into uh, town to get a tarp put on it. Um, that they're gonna start working on that Monday. So I'm gonna get this Kenny cranked up. cold starts on that thing um so this thing's gonna get a tarp uh, i'm gonna go to sherco tarps in west fargo um they're gonna put a electric uh roll tarp on it this one has a roll tarp on it but it's old and pretty rotten um i don't think it would last more than two trips rolled up um there's no bows in it anymore and the front cap is completely gone so um i'm gonna get this in um finally got the uh the parts for the uh, lift axle finally came in, so we're going to go and uh, get that installed here at some point, probably next weekend, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got that coming, and I'm going to get a liner in, and I'm probably going to do that myself, so you guys get to see all that. I have to do is I have to take off that front cap that's on the trailer. Um, that's all smashed down. Had a bow in it at one point. It's all it's a metal cap, so it's an older, older cap. This is a Sherco system. I mean, all the the hardware and everything is Sherco. So one of them been I don't know. I'm something in the mid 90s or somewhere in there. Um, I also have to take off this uh, this little. I'm assuming it was a tarp holder when they rolled up a uh, older style tarp because obviously the trailer has hooks. has uh, hooks on it for a for a non-roll tarp um, so I'm assuming when they rolled the, the old the first tarp on it up they rolled it up and just set it in that little cradle there so I got to get that cradle off because that's going to be in the way for when they put the uh, electric tarp system on there so we'll get all that off too
had to get the wife to come out and help me with that one. And there she goes now. She didn't want to be on camera in her sweatpants and her sweatshirt. So you got to miss that. But we got that uh, tarp cradle off and I got all the uh, hardware off. I'm gonna leave this strip on here. This is when the tarp rolls over and then it rolls back up, it locks into that strip. I'm just gonna leave that on there because it's a nice shape and really don't need to replace it. And if that's, you know, a hundred bucks or something off the tarp system that I can buy, then it's a hundred bucks off that I don't have to pay. So I'm just gonna pop these off quick. And this thing should be ready to go to get tarped. There, trailer's done, ready to go off to the tarp place. I'm gonna drop it off tomorrow and they're gonna have put a tarp on it Monday. I asked them if I could video it and they said they probably could. The problem is I gotta work Monday so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get over, to get the camera going and everything like that. So probably ain't gonna work. So probably next time you see this, it'll have a nice electric uh, Sherco tarp on it. So. So um, we talked about the fact that I found some cracks in that hub. So let's pop that off. I want to try to figure out what's causing those cracks because the last hub or the last, when I bought the truck, it had a cracked hub on it. I replaced that hub last year. Like I said, that hub doesn't even have a hundred miles on it um, and it's already cracked. So I'm assuming there's gotta be something wrong with the wheel that's making it cracked like that. So let's take it apart and see what we can do. So I have a competing YouTuber right now filming in my shop. His name is Lucas. And I have no idea where he got it from. Well, at first glance, I can't, I mean, cracked here, cracked all through here. If I remember correctly, this ring pops off. I don't know if that had something to do with it. This might be the culprit because I did switch this over from the old room, if I remember correctly, as a spacer to get it spaced out correct. So, um, that might have something to do with it. I'm not sure, but this hub cracked pretty bad. Looking at the rim, doesn't look any really out of ordinary. I mean, it's got some rust and everything like that, but it doesn't really look like it's necessarily out around or anything like that. Um, but I'm gonna try to figure out how I can put a flat, ed a flat edge on it or something like that and see if there's any run out on it or, or something like that.
Okay, uh, that's what I really needed was to get to the part numbers on the, or the casting numbers on this hub. Uh, I gotta get that thing ordered back up again. Um, you can see the crack here all the way around the back. Uh, you know what I should have done when I had it on there is I should have marked it on the wheel where it was cracked. And that might be able to tell me if there's any run out anywhere. I mean, I can't tell by the naked eye, but I don't know why that would be, why that would be doing that. I might ask some, some uh, tire guys. I'm gonna pop this ring off here and then uh, <coughs> see if there's something, something on the back of this hub that's causing that. Um, I know that ring, that little spacer ring on there was cracked. Ugh. That might have something to do with it. The hub itself looks fine, looks normal. I mean, other than that crack, um, this plate, other than being cracked, looks normal. I don't know why, why, why it would make a difference if it was cracked. Because all it does is sit, seat between the rim and the, the rim and the hub. I mean, the, it doesn't pull it apart when you run a bolt into it or anything like that, or a nut onto it. Um, I wonder if that wheel is a little bit untrue. I just, I don't know. I gotta figure it out though, cause I can't keep spending however much it is for these hubs. Cause I, I wanna say it was like 420 bucks the last time I bought this thing. Something like that. I don't know, I gotta get on the Google box and try to figure out, find another one, so. Okay, that's gonna probably wrap it up for this video. I gotta order up some parts. Um, I did some looking on Google and uh, find a used hub for 150 bucks but I seem to remember last time I bought that hub I didn't think it was all that much more to get it locally through the parts guy it was a couple hundred bucks more but it was new all the races were installed everything was done um, so I can't remember I'll have to look it up and do it um, so uh, I'm gonna be picking up the semi trailer here this week I'll just give you an update on that and then uh, pick up that lift kit so we can get that lift kit installed and get that lift axle working and hopefully get a, a hub ordered here today or tomorrow. I'm gonna call the parts place and see what they got. I'm gonna hopefully order up a hub and uh, get that put on. Um, I have another set of bud wheels. Um, I think I'm just gonna be careful and just put those on instead. I have a, I just have a feeling it's gonna be that wheel that's causing that, uh, but I'm not totally sure. So um, just to give you guys an idea or uh, heads up, um, I'm gonna try to cut the videos down to about 20 minutes. I'm literally right now as we speak uploading the last video which was the ether assist video and between editing that for almost four hours last night and then uploading it starting at 8 a.m. this morning it's now about uh, three o'clock and it's only 67 percent uploaded onto YouTube so it's taken forever I'm sure I, there's some settings I can change here to help that out and everything like that and try to lower the quality of the video a little bit but it's taken forever. So I'm gonna try to uh, uh, keep these videos down to about 20 minutes. I don't know, what do you guys think? You let me know, do you like the longer ones or the shorter ones? Let me know what you think, put it in the comments. Also, if you guys know what's going on with that hub, let me know because I'm no expert. Um, the only thing I can think of is that maybe that wheel isn't exactly true or plumb or has run out. I don't know what you'd even call that. But uh, let me know if you guys have seen that before or know what's going on and uh, make sure you, uh, Put some comments down there, hit like and hit subscribe, tell your friends about me, all that stuff. I'm just shameless self-promotion here. So thanks guys for watching. God bless. See ya.